Okay, guys, this is our uh, it's our last video lesson of the year, section 9.5, stoichiometry and solutions. Uh, I'm going to do it in two parts, uh, just because the second part, the, the example is, is pretty long and I need some time to write it up on the whiteboard. So just look for that, two parts. Um, in terms of chapter 10, uh, we're kind of out of time because new material, last day to give it to you is like tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to put... Uh, just a couple of fact sheets and stuff like that on there um, from chapter 10 in acids and bases. I will put some uh, required readings and questions uh, that you should be able to do. And then if voluntarily, it won't affect your mark either way, but if it's something that you know you do wanna cover, um, then feel free to do that. And uh, if you have questions, send them to me and I'll get you the answers if you have some problems. Uh, same thing with chapters 11 and 12. It's just formula manipulation, which I don't think most of you will have uh, any issue with it all. Uh, there is some gas law stuff, which is unit five that we just didn't get to. We did get further in the other 11 U class. So um, if you do have questions or anything from that that you, you kind of want clarified, send them to me as well and we'll, we'll take care of it. Okay, but anyway, 9.5 stoichiometry. Of so we did stoichiometry earlier in the year in unit two, where we used uh, number of moles equals mass over molar mass. and sometimes number of entities, and we manipulated those formulas to find out the information we needed. And we based everything um, off those balanced chemical equations, which is why it's so important right at the beginning of the year when we were still together, why it was so important that we were able to derive those. So when we were doing those, we'd have the balanced chemical equation, and then we would take, um, whether it was the mass or uh, whichever, we use that N equals M over M formula, find the number of moles of one thing, use the uh, mole ratio in the balanced chemical equation, find the number of moles of whatever it is we were looking for. So what we had is what we found first. Then we look what what it is we were looking for. And then usually we would, you know, use that same formula to find the mass. We're essentially going to do the same thing. I mean, that is stoichiometry. We're going to do the same thing in this particular section of chapter nine. The only difference is um, the stoichiometry of solutions is a little bit different. We're not using N equals M over M mass and molar mass where equals C equals N over V. So concentration and volume. So instead of using mass and molar mass, finding number of moles, we're using concentration and volume. Otherwise, the steps are exactly the same. So we're gonna have, um, we're gonna find the number of moles of what we have. We're gonna use the ratio from the balanced chemical equation to find the number of moles of what it is we want. And then we rearrange the formula C equals N over V to either figure out concentration or volume, depending on what they're asking for. So quick example here. <clears throat> we've got a reaction where we've got barium chloride plus sodium nitrate, both aqueous solutions, gives us some barium sulfate, which would be a precipitate, and sodium chloride. And our balanced chemical equation coefficient is pretty simple. One, 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 two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's our information they gave us. Remember, um, sometimes the book does it as a step on its own. I don't always do that because the whiteboard I have is pretty small, but all volumes when we're dealing with C equals N over V, all volumes got to be converted to liters every single time because remember the units are concentration, moles per liter. So I've got my volume and my concentration for barium chloride. So hopefully we can see that first thing we're going to do, we're going to find the number of moles of BaCl2. Once we have the number of moles of BaCl2, we're going to compare that with our ratio, which you can see is one to one, to find the number of moles of Na2SO4, and then rearrange the formula, C equals N over V, to uh, V equals N over C, to find our volume of sodium sulfate. So here we go. All right. Number of moles of barium chloride, number of moles C times V, 0 0.1 times 0.1. Five gives us 0 0.05 moles. Here's my ratio, BaCl2 to Na2SO4. It's one to one, which means you also, if you have 0.05 of one, you have 0.05 of the other. And now I simply rearrange my volume, or my formula, C equals N over V for volume, N over C, 0 0.05 moles divided by 0 0.42 moles per liter, 0 0.12 liters, or 120 milliliters. A lot of times they're going to ask you for your answer back in milliliters, so conversion back. 
Uh, it may seem silly, but if that's what the question asks for, then uh, make sure that you do that. Okay, so that's the first example. Um, the second one is slightly more complicated. Uh, remember, as we moved through stoichiometry, we went and we had, um, after that, we started learning about what limiting reagents were and how to calculate which one was limiting. So the second part of the video is just that one. We're going to do the same steps, um, only first we have to determine which one is limiting. And then we just um, continue along the same steps. Exactly the same stuff we did back in uh, Unit 3, I think, um, like Chapter 6. Only difference, instead of using N equals M over M, we're using C equals N over V to find those moles. And other than that, the, co uh, the questions in the process is exactly the same. So if you do have any questions, uh, fire them off and I'll get to them. And again, uh, this will be our last video lesson. Um, I will um, put some recommended uh, questions and uh, sections you should go through and um, at least read for those of you moving on to the grade 12 uh, chemistry next year. So uh, if you have questions, please send them and uh, otherwise, good luck.